and I dread police force on Saturday release and update and incidents recorded in the nationwide protests against economic hardship in the country. The police also dismissed a report by Amnesty International that 13 individuals have so far lost their lives in the ongoing protests which began on 1st August 2024. And this is even as the force said it has also arrested a total of 681 individuals alleged to have committed various criminal offenses recovering two AK-47 rifles and assorted life ammunition from protesters. The police warned that the ongoing protest has turned violent and advised law-abiding citizens to immediately withdraw from the protest. In a statement by Olumui Wade, Jobi's first public relations officer on Saturday, the Nigerian police said the total number of deaths recorded so far during the protest is seven. The Nigeria police force finds it necessary to refute the recent reports publicized by Amnesty International, which claims that 13 individuals have lost their lives due to the protests in Nigeria that began on 1st August 2024. Amnesty International further alleges that security personnel deliberately employed tactics designed to kill while managing gatherings and use firearms as a tactical tool for protest management. The Nigeria Police Force wishes to provide an accurate account of incidents from the first two days of the nationwide protest. In Bono State, four individuals lost their lives and 34 were severely injured in a terrorist attack by suspected Boko Haram and Iswap elements who infiltrated the crowd of protesters and detonated an improvised explosive device IED. Additionally, an incident occurred involving an unregistered under prelude car that ran into the protesters, resulting in the death of two civilians in Nasarawa State. There was another incident reported in Yauri, Yauri local government area of KB State, where a group of individuals mobilized to loot a shop. In the process, a local vigilante man shot and killed one of the looters. The Commissioner of Police in charge of KB State is currently investigating the incident. This brings the total number of deaths recorded during the protest to seven. It is important to state that there were no other recorded fatalities during the protest apart from those mentioned above. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.